Hello, hello, this is Sebastian Moyapasa from Tucson, Arizona, United States. And this time uh, we are going to talk about life and life and uh, how to make easier the culture shock process using the honeymoon period or uh, the state of tourist, that how I call it, uh, or mode, uh, tourist mode, okay? And so let's uh, review uh, roughly how this process works with this uh, chart. This is coming from the experts on psychology and everything. They, they made uh, this uh, research and everything. They put it in the vertical um, uh, happiness of satisfaction. This is a plus four uh, and this is minus six. So you can imagine there's a point at zero in here. So this uh, honeymoon process, it's uh, everything is above uh, zero. Uh, satisfaction of happiness and then below this one that's uh, where the culture shock itself uh, process starts here right and somewhere between uh, six months start uh, this adjustment period and then finally uh, in this part you have the adjustment completed but uh, and this adjustment is up to three years that's the expert uh, you know the data from the experts and uh, and this story is uh, coming from Peru in, uh, in the jungle, and uh, I'll name it from Tarapoto, that is uh, the, the biggest uh, town or city in there. And uh, this is, I'm working, and uh, this is 1997, 98, uh, for exploration uh, company, and we are looking for a source of the gold places that is in the jungle. So. Uh, so uh, we uh, we went to um, Tarapoto by flight from Lima, and then uh, we are in this river Ucayali. It's uh, that's uh, the highway for, in the jungle for us, and we use a small boat that they call Peke 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 because the engine it makes Peke 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 Peke. That's what, what they call. So uh, uh, it's uh, um, the driver of the boat or the captain of the boat, and it's, uh, the expert in sampling a technician comes with me and myself. And so we are four people, and uh, the next one is a guide. We need hire a guide, a local guy who knows the roads and exit, you uh, know, uh, where to go, where not to go, and um, trails. If there's a trails, we need to walk where we can go. So we are four people in there, and uh, we are going uh, a river up. And uh, so one day, peke, 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 two days, and the peke, peke, the Third day, the guide says, oh, <laughs> Sebastian, engineer, oh, my, my butt is hurting me, my legs is hurting me, my arms hurting me, because we have to, to travel like this, because if we do like that, high the speed, you know, you fall down into the water. So we travel like this and say, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to be at home. You know, they have their own access from the jungle. But it was, you know, so uh, uh, sincere, so honest. I don't want to be here three days and we don't get it to the place that we're going to start to work. And um, so I say, okay, and uh, how are you going to go back? Not with this boat. <laughs> this boat is going up. And I say, oh, yeah, that, you are right. I don't have a boat. I think it's better if just uh, wait another day, right? Okay, let's wait another day. So the point in, 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 in here, it is, even if the situation is difficult, maybe the situation is painful, but we don't pay too much attention because of this, because we have a plan to do, things to do, and we see the appreciation, we see the gratitude, and uh, we enjoy the moment. And uh, so we complete the area, we took the samples and everything, and we found another uh, area that was uh, more to the east. In this place, we had to go like uh, 10 or 15 days by boat. And uh, we, uh, we knew that there was a um, charter company, you know, we can hire uh, a little airplane and fly over there. And so that's what we did. We go back to Tarapoto and we took this uh, little airplane for only for four people, one engine. And uh, there was a pilot, me, and uh, there was a guide, and uh, in the backside there was a, a sampler technician, expert in sampling. 
And um, once again, take off the, the airplane. There was uh, some mountains over there. Just the rest right there, the mountains. And we were like, oh, pushing the airplane. <laughs> we can't help the airplane go past, you know. It's very exciting, you know. So, wow. And I, I look at, to the back to the guide, and he, uh, the guide was a... Uh, sweating and scared fear you know it's what happened what's going on and he said uh, you, you know engineer that's uh, they call us engineers but uh, Sebastian you know uh, this airplane only has one engine what happened if the engine turns uh, off like the the peke peke right <laughs> is he uh, the uh, the a pilot will have a time enough to take the wrench, the hammer, and start the engine again. <laughs> he was so scared about that, and so, you know. And so I explained to him, you know, you know, this airplane is not the same engine <laughs> like they pick it, pick it, the boat. It's you know they have a maintenance and service and everything. It's going to be just fine. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Okay. And he it was fine. And the funny thing is, uh, you know, the relationship of the uh, airplane engine with the, the boat engine, right? So, and uh, just uh, uh, seeing the, where we are going to land, it's a road, but in both sides there are houses. Say, so what, we are going to land on a, in a street? That's what they say uh, to the pilot. Say, no, 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 no. This is a, a, a landing area. The only thing is people just made homes <laughs> in both sides. What we can do, right? But it's safe, you know. It, it looks narrow, but in the reality, it's, uh, it's uh, wide enough. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. And then the, the airplane lands, and, and um, all the kids, you know, from both the streets show up, and is trying to, to touch the airplane, say, oh no, I hope there is no accident. Yeah, how, how these people, kids running in the, in the, in the runway of the uh, airplane, right? And uh, so it didn't happen anything, and so we have uh, this meeting with the local people, with the authorities and everything, explain them what, how we're going to work, what we are going to do it, and explain all the people, and, you know, the meeting and everything, that, so everybody knows what we are doing, right? So airplanes show up, and <laughs> what we are going to do it. And so we have all the permissions and everything, and so... Um, uh, we co complete, uh, you know, uh, our mission so we can start to working. So when we were on the field, you know, we collecting the samples and everything, one place there was a uh, home and there was a lady, old lady, and uh, brings us some kind of drink. This is masato. Masato is made of yuca, yuca root. They chew, they chew, and uh, uh, collect it in a, a spot and some something like a beer you know make beer but they, they chew first you know masticate and put it in, in a, this uh, space or container and make kind of drink they call masato and the first thing is to give it to uh, to the guide the guide said no 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 no, no. to the technician the technician said no 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 first to Sebastian <laughs> yeah it was half full not full and, the, uh, uh, and we have to accept it because that's the uh, generosity of the people over there, and that's why they drink. So we have to be uh, receptive, you know. If we tell them no, so for them it's like we are rejecting them, right? So I, I, I took this masato, they call poto actually, and I drink everything. And uh, next one for uh, for. Uh, for a technician, uh, higher, and he didn't want to take it and uh, give it to to the guide. Yeah, you know, uh, and, and the guide drink it. Yeah. No, <laughs> full everything. The, you know, the full cap and everything. But it has a yucca uh, roots still in there, and the lady has to take it with a hand and say, um, mm, 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 and put it on one side and give it to a drink and. <laughs> 
the, the technician has to drink. Da, da, da. <laughs> and uh, that's the experience, you know. But uh, um, all this uh, I want to share it is at the end, if we stay in all time in this appreciation mode and in gratitude mode, what do we see, what do we have, and uh, so all this process of the culture shock is going to be easy, you know, the adaptation will be so easy. Okay, that's uh, uh, that's the story. Thank you. I, I hope uh, you enjoy. You had fun at the stories in the jungle. Uh, and um, maybe one of the questions you say, oh, uh, did you find a gold over there or not? Yeah, that's for another story. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, subscribe and uh, um, touch the bell for new videos. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.